Hello everyone. Welcome to lecture number 45. So we will begin with this new topic that is uh, sitting arrangement. Interesting topic. Few students fumble in this topic because again of formulas. X position from the beginning, Y position from the end. The formula that is to be used is N minus X plus 1. Yehi sare jo logic use karte hain, isme dikkat hota hai. They find it difficult. They find it difficult to recall the formula, what to use, when to use, where to use, how to use. All these things create sort of problem in this topic. Let's see how this topic spans. And I will definitely try to make this topic very easy for you people. Prerequisites, nothing. You can watch it fresh. Anytime, any day, anywhere, you can watch this topic. No prerequisites. Just follow this concept, this much concept, enough to complete this topic once and forever. Okay. Now let us begin with question number one. In a queue, Mr. X is 14th from the front. Mr. Y is 17th from the end. While Mr. Z abhi ke isko chhod dete. Let us position Mr. X and Mr. Y in a notation form or in a diagrammatic form. I'll let you know what is this diagram. See front end. It will look like this. This is the front. This is the end. And if I change it, this will be front. This will be end. Any issues in that? No. No issues. If I see this diagram front end looks like this. If I rotate this by 90 degree, will anything change? No, it remains the same without any change. I did like this. This is the front. This is the end. So what I marked, I marked what is my alignment. If I see from this side, it will be the front. If I see from this side, it will be the end. Clear? Alignment part is done. Now, let us go to the question. Mr. X is 14th from the front. Now, from this side, Mr. X will be at the 14th position. So, that means, can I say there would be 13 people and a 1. This one will be X. Understand it. X is at the 14th position. Now, aap agar X ho, if you are X, you are standing at the 14th position. Close your eyes and visualize. You are starting at standing at the 14th position or you are standing in a row which is at the 14th position. Either 13 people will be ahead of you or 13 people will be of the left of you, right? Ab yahi bolte no? When you are standing in a queue, you say, when your father or mother calls you and asks, where are you standing right now? Okay, 13 people are in front of me or 13 people are left of me. I'm in the photo. We are taking our group photo and 13 people are in the left of me or 13 people are in front of me. That means you are at the 14th position. Got it? So if X is at the 14th position, I will give X as 1. And since I am at the 14th position, that means 13 people are here. The 13. I hope it is clear. Now, Mr. Y is 17th from the end. Now, from this side, Mr. Y is at the 17th position. Again, Y will take one position. I don't know whether Y will come here. There are three cases that can follow. But I have no idea about it. Let us forget that thing. Forget X as of now. When you are positioning Y, forget X. Y can come here. Y can be here. Y can be here. Y can be here. Y can go somewhere else. I have no idea about it. But I will forget for the time being. Now for me, 17th position from the end. That means Y is a person taking one position. Hence, 16 people will be here. That much is evident from this fact. No relation about X and Y. Clear? Mr. Z is exactly in between Mr. X and Y. If Mr. Z is present here, which is exactly between X and Y, that means I will give another one position to Mr. Z. Since it is equal, Present exactly in between. That means P people will be here. P people will be here. If I am telling there are two people X and Y and you are positioned exactly in between them. That means the number of people between X and Z will be same as the number of people between Z and Y. Let it be P. Now read from here. If Mr. X is ahead of Mr. Y, 
That means in this diagram, Mr. X will be here, Mr. Y will be here. There would be some people between X and Y. So our positions are correct as of now. Clear? It is pretty clear. X position is correct. Y position is correct. No need to change. Had it been Mr. Y is ahead of X. That means the position had looked like this. Will look like this. Y, X. There will be some people between Y and X. But here it is correct. Now, there are 48 persons in the queue. How many persons are there between Mr. X and Z? Mr. X and Z ke beech mein kitne people hai? That means we need to find P. Total people will be 48. Let us count the total people. 13 here plus plus 1 here plus P here plus 1 here plus P here plus 1 here plus 16. That means 13 plus 3, 16 plus 16, 32 plus 2 P, P and P. For your explanation, I wrote it like this, but in the exam, don't waste your time like this. Just understand 13 here, 1, 1, 1, that is 3. 13 plus 3 is 16, 16 plus 6 is 32, 32 plus 2 P equals to 48. 2 P equals to 16, P equals to 8. Got it. So we have converted a sitting arrangement problem into an algebra question. And we have solved it. Clear. I hope you have got the essence of this topic. And this is the method that will be used to solve all the questions. Let us proceed to the next question. Question number two. Five people A, B, C, D, E are seated about a round table. Every chair is spaced equidistant from the adjacent chairs. Five people in a round table. One, two, three, four, five. Every chair is spaced equidistant from the adjacent chairs. Correct. C is seated next to A. Now suppose this is C. This is A. C is seated next to A. So that means C can be here or C can be here next to A. Next to A can happen from either side. It can happen clockwise or it can happen anti-clockwise. Now what is the next position to A? The next position to A is this one as well as this one. Anti-clockwise as well as clockwise. Clear. So we have placed this one. A is seated two seats from D. This is we are moving clockwise direction. This is we are moving anti-clockwise direction. Clear. A is seated two seats next, two seats from D. A is seated two seats from D. That means A is seated two seats from D. This one. Clear. Got it. Now here, A is seated two seats next from D. Anti-clockwise direction. Got it? We have placed this one. B is not seated next to A. Now here, B won't be seated here. That means B will come here. E will come here. Here, B won't be seated here. E will come here. B will come here. Now, let's see which one of the following must be true. D is seated next to B. D is seated next to B. Correct? D is seated next to B. This is clockwise direction. This is anti-clockwise direction. D is seated next to B. D is seated next to B. Correct? E is seated next to A. E is seated next to A. E is seated next to A. Correct. So both the statements are correct. So we will get the answer as both 1 and 2. Got it? Proceed to the next question. That is question number 3. Again, same type question. In a class of 45 students, a boy is ranked 20th. That means 19. Boy ranked 20th. Clear? 19, 1, 28th. Class mein, 45 students. That means this is 19, 1, 20. This will be 25. Got it? Two boys joined the rank, joined the group. His rank was dropped by 1. That means it will go from 20 to 21. That means here 20, here 1. This will be the 21st position of the boy. Now two students are there. One we have adjusted here. The other one will be adjusted here. That will be 26. Clear? Which, what is his new rank from the end? Now from this side, what is his new rank? 26 plus 1, 27th rank. Got it? Easy? Clear? Proceed to the next problem. Question number four. There are seven persons up on a ladder A, B, C, D, E, F, G, not in that order. A is further up than E. Seven positions. A is further up than E. That means if E is here, A will be further up, but is lower than C. A is lower than C. That means it will be like this. B is in the middle. B is in the middle. Got it. Now, it, uh, obviously, dekho, if A is further up than E, that means A has to come here and E has to come here. 
इतना तो आइडिया मिल गया ए विल कम हियर सी विल ऑल्सो कम हियर बिकॉज सी इज अप देन ए नाउ सी बी इज इन द मिडिल जी इज बिटवीन ए एंड बी ना देखो जी इज बिटवीन ए एंड बी मतलब इफ बी इज हियर देन जी हैज टू बी हियर बिकॉज ए इज इन द टॉप पार्ट If A is here, then C will be here. Got it? E is between B and F. That means E will come here. F is between E and D. F is between E and D. Got it? The person on the bottom step of the ladder. Bottom step of the ladder is D. Got it? So your answer is C. Clear? Proceed to the next problem. That is question number five. A is taller than B. A is taller than B. C is taller than A. D is taller than C. E is tallest of the all. This is the arrangement. If they are made to sit in the above order of their height, in this order, who will occupy the middle position? Obviously, the middle position will be C. So your answer is C. Got it? Proceed to the next problem. That is question number six. यहाँ पे एक trick है. I'll share the trick with you people. There are six villages A, B, C, D, E, F. F is one kilometer to the west. F is one kilometer to the west of D. If D is here, F will be one kilometer to this side, west, west, north, south, east. F is one kilometer. Now, if you read the next statement after this, B is one kilometer to the east of E. You are lost. Then what you will do? You will do it like this. E hai, B is one kilometer to the east. You are lost. टू डायग्राम्स बन रहे यही गलत है आप क्या करोगे आफ्टर यू हैव रेड दिस स्टेटमेंट यू हैव टू फाइंड द लिंक स्टेटमेंट टू इट व्हाट इज द लिंक द लिंक कैन बी इधर एफ और द लिंक कैन बी इधर डी गो टू डी वाला स्टेटमेंट डी स्टेटमेंट इज हियर डी इज वन किलोमीटर टू द साउथ ऑफ ए एलिमिनेट दिस वन डी इज वन किलोमीटर टू द साउथ ऑफ ए This has to be a one kilometer to the south. Clear, got it. Now, which statement you gonna read? Either of F, D, or A. You can find A here. C is one kilometer to the east of A, or A is two kilometer to the north of E. Any one you can take. If I take A is two kilometer to the north of E, A is two kilometer to the north of E. That means E has to be here. And C is A at two kilometer to its north. देखो A is at two kilometer to its north. North के two kilometer. ये diagram बनाना जरूरी है. You have to make this diagram. If E is here, then the north is this one. A is two kilometer to the north of E. Now see the question. Which three villages are in a line? Obviously, you got the answer as A, D, E. No need to do the other part also. Clear? Got it? Proceed to the next problem. That is question number seven. Four children are sitting in a row. A is occupying the next seat to B. Four children are sitting in a row. A is occupying the next seat to B, but not next to C. Got it? A is not next to C. Clear? That means if I place D, sorry, A is occupying the next seat to B. Clear? If I place A and B. How it will look? If I place B here, A will come here. A is occupying the next seat to B, but not next to C. But not next to C. That means C has to come here. Clear? That means D has to come here, or else. If we look from the other side, if you give B here, A will come here, C will be here, D will be here. Are you getting it or not? देखो फोर चिल्ड्रेन आर सिटिंग इन अ रो ए इज ऑक्यूपाइंग द नेक्स्ट सीट टू बी बट नॉट नेक्स्ट टू सी ए इज ऑक्यूपाइंग द नेक्स्ट सीट टू बी बट नॉट नेक्स्ट टू सी क्लियर नाउ सी इज ऑक्यूपाइंग नॉट सिटिंग नेक्स्ट टू डी सी इज नॉट सिटिंग नेक्स्ट टू डी ओके हियर सी इज ऑल्सो नॉट सिटिंग नेक्स्ट टू डी हु इज आर आर ऑक्यूपाइंग द सीट एडजेसेंट टू डी डी के एडजेसेंट में कौन कौन है एक गलती हुआ है जस्ट अ मिनट we have four positions here a is occupying the next seat to b if we see from this side a is occupying the next seat to b giving this as a this is b a is occupying the next seat to b but not next to c clear not 
next to C. That means C is not next, A is not next to C. That means where will C come? C will come here, D will come here. Clear? If we see from the other side, from this side, that means A will be here, B will be here. Now C is not next to A. Clear? C is not sitting next to A. Because yaha pe dekho, yaha pe question hai ki A is occupying the seat next to B. Next to B can be from this side or that side. Are you getting this or not? See, there is some slight confusion in this question. Which side you going to take? But aisa dekho, if we do one diagram also, A, B, C, D ke position hai. B is sitting next to B. Sorry, A is sitting next to B. If B is this one, A can come here or A can come here. Next to B is A. That means if I give B as this position, A will come here. Or if I give B as this position, A will come here. Clear? Now, but not next to C. Matlab, A is not sitting next to C. So C cannot position B. C, C's position cannot be here. C cannot come here. Why? Because it will be next to A. So C will come here. If C comes here, D has to come here. Similarly here, who will come here? C cannot come here. So it has to be D. Now this has to be C. Now the question is, who is or are occupying seat adjacent to D? Adjacent to D will be A. A. Got it? So your answer would be A. Clear? Proceed to the next problem. Question number 8. In a row A, in a row, A is in the 11th position from the left. From the left, this is the left, this is the right. A is in the 11th position. That means 10, 1, A. I hope you are getting it, 10, 1, A. B is in the 10th position to the right. That means 9, 1, B. A and B's in positions are interchanged. So 10, 1, B, 9, 1, A. How many persons are there in the row other than A and B? Okay. How many people are here? Let it be P. If A and B interchange the position, then A becomes 18th from the left. A becomes 18th from the left. That means 10 plus 1 plus P plus 1 equals to 18. 10 plus, this will be 12. That means P has to be 6. So P has to be 6. Question is, how many persons are there in the row other than A and B? Leave A and B. How many people are there? 10 plus 6 is 16. 16 plus 9 is 25. So the answer is 25. Got it? Is it clear? So we will see in the next lecture. That will be lecture number 46 from this question. I think this is a repeat question. That is why I thought we will just do this question. This is a repeat question. Five people A, B, C, D, E are seated about a round table. We did this right now. Na? So this was a complete repeat question. So that's the bonus for us. We have completed this question also. So we have done nine questions in this slot. We'll begin from lecture number 46. This is a repeat question. We'll do from lecture number 46 from this question. So thank you for watching this lecture. Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care, everyone. Jai Hind.